you think the devil is on leave, you are on leave. He is not on leave. You are resting. He is not resting. We dare not rest. I said, we dare not rest. I said, we dare not rest. We have to do God's will. All right. Amen. The next reason is we dare not rest. Mm. <laughs> are you listening to me? Yes. yes. Because as we are resting, the devil is working. Mm. I was speaking to my brother-in-law and I asked him how, I told him we want to start a church in Lebanon. I said, how is it is Lebanon an Islamic? He said, no. He said, the president of Lebanon is always a Christian. They have Christians and they have Muslims, but the president is always a Lebanon. Uh, I said, so are there Islam? He said, oh, Muslim is there. But he said, now there are more Muslims than Christians. You get it? More Muslims. And if you take a country like Ghana, Islam has increased. They have more publicity. They have radios. I mean, they have, they have power. They are in the government, they have been given two holidays, public holidays. Mm. Oh yeah, anything that is going on in Ghana, the, the Imam will be there, the Christian will be there, and the... Um, Traditional. What do they call it? The Mulomo. The Mulomo the 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 will also be there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The places we don't want to go, the Muslims are there. The Zongos, they are there. The poor places, they are there. How many of us, that's why I said we are a missionary church, it's a church which sends people to sacrifice their lives. Yeah. Yeah. Today, I know this camp, eh? I'm calling you to sacrifice your life. Amen. 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 I'm calling you to sacrifice, to be a missionary for the Lord. Because that is the type of church that God wants us to have. Amen. Amen. God wants us to be a missionary oriented church which gives up its life. And until we do that, and unless we do that, we are not a real church. Mm. That's the reality. Mm. How many of us would like to go to the north of Ghana? One day I went to Tamale the first time. I think I went at the wrong season. When we arrived, I see the air conditioner was on in the car. As the air conditioner was blowing, the sunshine that was coming through the car was more than the air conditioner that the air conditioner was working. <laughs> then I we stop and I touched the car. The car was like, you know when you put a frying pan on the stove? It's hot. When I touched the swing screen, the car was hot. The sun was hot. Very, 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 very hot. When we got to Tamale, we came and when you move your hand like this, you feel the hot air mm. blowing to you just when the wind blows, the hot air, like the, the exhaust of a car. Then I said to myself, if God is angry with me one day, <laughs> this is the place that he will see me. Amen. If God is angry with me one day, he will send me to this place. <laughs> but there are people there, Patrick and Joy, Amen. who were in, in Norway or Sweden or wherever. Where is it? Norway. 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 Beautiful country oh. developed. They left it. And now their children go to school in Tamale. Yeah. No, they didn't just go there for a while. They've gone there to settle there. To live their life there. <laughs> the road to their house that I said is telling about is about 20 kilometers now that 20 kilometer road is a dusty road now that dusty road is red dust now that road right is like when you were coming, you pass over the cattle yes. grid. Yes. You know, something brrr, you go over. The whole road for 20 <laughs> kilometers is like that. So when you are going, the whole car, you, you can't even go fast. And when you go fast, you can easily somersault. And you just go there, and they are there. He, his wife, his children, three children, 
They have, laid, they have laid in it, they have given everything. That's why they have for the gospel. Yeah. And you'll be there with people where you talk to them, they don't even believe you. You know there are Muslims in that place? Huh? And Catholics. Is that the two things they have? And, and the people are different type of people. Every people is different anyway. They are also different. <laughs> Amen. But that's what God is calling us at this camp. To be a church that sends our people to where die sacrificially for Him. Amen. Amen. No, that's why we came to the camp. We came to the camp because God is saying that let everybody have that dream Amen. and that vision of having a, a large church. I said, why do you want to have a mega church? Why do you call it a large church? Is it not pride? It's not pride. It's not pride. It's not anything. We, we, the mega church, that way, it's, it's, it's a confession. Amen. Amen. It's a confession because I think we have sometimes a church. Somebody was criticizing me that we have sometimes a church with three people. Six a church. I said, no, even that is large. One person is a church. <laughs> 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 Need one person to start a church. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So sometimes we have a few people there, but we say it's a mega church. And as we keep saying mega, it becomes mega. It becomes mega. And when when there is a mega church, it means a lot of people have been brought out of the the, the world. You see, the church is just the remnant of our evangelistic work. The church is the it's what you got. It's your savings. The church is your savings from your work. You see, when you go to work, you are paid. Thousand pounds, hundred pounds, Swiss francs, uh, what do you call it? Salary, all right? And then at the end of when you work, you lose some. You have to give some out as rent. Give some out for petrol. Give some out for insurance. Give some out for this. And what is left is how much? Uh, 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 Steve, how much is left? Let's say hundred pounds. That is the church. The church is the remnant. When we go and we, we preach to people, some are annoyed, some believe, some go away, some come for a while, some leave, some go to other places, some become Muslim, some fall away. The balance of all that is what is left in the church. Mm. So when we look at the church, you are looking at the savings Amen. of the souls. Amen. After all the work is done, Amen. this is what has been Amen. able to remain. Amen. And so then looking at the church, and using the church as an index, as a, as a ruler, as an indicator of what we must do is one of the best things to look at if you want to see whether you're in your evangelism. Anything you do, just look at the church. The church is the balance. Mm. It's your savings. It's the, it's the real thing that is left after you've done your work. So when you have a large church, it means, you, you know, because when you have a hundred people, 500 have gone away already. That's right. 500 are annoyed with you. 500 have criticized you and have gone. 500 are offended. 500 are bored. 500 say that the pastors are after money. 500 say that they are not going to be in the church anymore. That, that's, and the balance is 100. Mm. That's right. Thank you, Bishop. That's why we want to have a large church. Tell the person next to you, he's talking about a mega church. He's talking about a mega church. Amen. 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 You need to have a mega church vision. If you are a shepherd, a member, a leader, whatever you are a member, because these messages I preach them into the whole church. I don't care. Because when the whole church has the idea that a big church is a good thing, you get what I'm saying, then the church is healthy. That's right. That's right. Because there are people who don't want to have more people in their church. They say, oh, we are okay as a family like this. You know, everything is nice. We know ourselves and so on. Let's not be too big. You know, that is not the case. And there are people like that. But that is not the dream of us. Our dream is to have double what we have. Hallelujah. Mega. And a missionary church. A missionary church. A church which gives and sends out. That's the will of the Lord. I said, that's the will of the Lord. Yeah. The will of the Lord is that our church should be a missionary church. We must finance missionary work. Oh. Amen. 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 And our church must be a church that goes far. They said, I, Pastor Robert showed me a fax from uh, Belarus. Do you know Belarus? Mm. It used to be in, in, in Soviet, Soviet Union. Soviet Union. 
And then I wish you had brought that fax. In fact, he called again tonight. He called again tonight. Thank you. He's saying that, you know, he came to the church. He said, Pastor Robert, the preacher is so good. I'm so blessed. And then he read some of the books. And he's so blessed. And, you know, he says that now he's sending greetings not only from him, but a whole lot of other people who are also reading the books and who are also blessed. And please come here, you know, to visit us and come start a church here in Belarus. He's a Belarusian. He's not a Ghanaian. He's a Belarusian. So I need a missionary. It's not enough to clap. I need you. Not just your hand claps. To Belarus. A lot of people will go to Belarus. From, from Polygon. From Polygon. <laughs> I told my brother in law, he said, anywhere where we have access to enter a country, you get what I'm saying? It's a door that is lying open. Mm. Who will go? Mm. By the time we finish this camp, there are going to be missionaries from our Amen. Give up your life. You Amen. give up your job. Amen. You say, here I am, here I am. Anything yeah. that has to be done, please. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yes. Right. Yes. 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 I'm talking about a real church. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not talking about a church which does its work coincidentally. Oh. Mm. Incidentally, you are around. And if once it's convenient, mm. the work of God can go on conveniently. Mm. A time has come where some things are not going to be convenient. But Amen. Amen. Yes. Mm. It's the real church. Mm. And that's what God is saying to us. We must be a missionary church. We must be a church that said, Let's read. Not with me. Matthew 28, verse 19. Read from verse 18. Okay, Matthew 28, verse 18. And Jesus came unto them and said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore back home and baptize them in the name of the Father. Go where? All nations. All nations. All you know, when I was in my room, before I came here, you know, <coughs> I believe that, you know, the Lord, I, I, I just felt so strongly that the whole world eh, can be saved by this group here. Oh, mm, amen. Yeah. Amen. You know, and so much, are you sure? <laughs> Jesus had his 12 fishermen trained. And this instruction, he gave it to the 12 of them. Go. And he left them and trusted them. But they obeyed him to the extent that they died in obeying him. They died obeying him. Today, if you send somebody, when I sent my pastor to Sierra Leone, and he was there, I was afraid when, he, when the war came. What if he dies? What people will say to me? You too know why do you send somebody to Sierra Leone to go and die? Who you go to take after the wife and then the children? This and that and that. You would have heard people speaking against me. Reinhard Bonke, when he had his tracks crisscrossing over Africa, preaching, one day the tracks got involved in a terrible accident. These huge articulators. I think there were two of them. And the drivers and the people who were in the tracks, they died. And some of them had wives and so on back home. You should have heard what Christians said. Christians, I am telling you that when you send people out there and something happens, they start to criticize. So people will not even like to send people. Even me, I don't, I don't like the idea about it. Send it. What about if something happens? What are people going to say? What will the family say to you? Sometimes even we, we, we haven't killed somebody. The person has just died. In the church, the way that people behave towards us, you wonder how much more the person is working for you. You have killed a person to multiply the members. Somebody said that I have gone to India to get powers. When we started having miracle service and healings, they said that I have gone to India to get powers to, to do healings. So maybe if somebody were to die, they would say that 
is Juju has killed a person to multiply the church. <laughs> oh yeah, one time I heard of a pastor that he had buried seven cows and the cows became worms, you know, underground and all those worms are the members. <laughs> A Nigeria church. <laughs> because there are lots. Because there are lots. Oh, there are lots. That church. There are a lot of people. <laughs> see, see how people think? Oh, it's unfortunate. It is. <laughs> but Jesus said, Go ye therefore into all, all, nations. all nations. Oh, so do you think what the Lord was telling me in my room is, is possible? Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Who well can be saved? Or affected greatly by just this group here. Amen. 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 It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. How many want to be used by the Lord to affect this world? Amen. Amen. Go in therefore into all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Now turn to Acts. Chapter. Oh, sorry. Acts. The book of Acts. Yeah. <laughs> Acts chapter eight. Acts. <coughs> uh, somebody died in chapter seven, and then in chapter eight. It continues. And Saul was consenting unto his death. And at that time, there was a great persecution against the church, huh? which was at Jerusalem, abroad throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. And devout men carried Stephen to his burial. Is that not so? And made great lamentation over him. As for Saul, he made havoc of the church, entering into every house, and hailing men and women, committing them to prison. Verse 4. Therefore they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. They that were what? Scattered abroad went where? Everywhere. Everywhere preaching the word. Amen. 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 I want you to see here that go into every nation and into all the world. I'm going to give you eight more reasons. Number one, it is a direct instruction of the Lord. Direct. There are some things that are implied. You know, like when I say you've got to have a mega church, it's implied. You get what I'm saying? But when we talk about going to all nations, and all people with the gospel. It's a direct instruction. It's not implied. It's, it's very explicit in the word. It is unambiguous. It's just written in black and white. You and I can understand it. Go everywhere. I see you going everywhere in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They went everywhere. Are we going to wait for persecution? All right. The next reason... <coughs> What reason do you have there? Direct instruction. Direct instruction number, number two. It is the last command of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The last thing he said. Papa, please come. Let's say somebody, you have a child, you have a son, what's his name? Jude Moses. Supposing Jude Moses. <laughs> Supposing you are, you have been told, God forbid, to not happen in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. But you have been told that you are going to die. All right, bye. Uh, when? <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> All right. What last thing 
Now think about it very seriously. You want you are going. <laughs> we, 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 we are your friends. Who do you work closely with? Clement, what would you like to tell him? The last thing that you have to do. You should try and save as many souls as possible. Yes. <laughs> Do you know that everybody is interested in the last words of a person? Yes. Do you know when Princess Diana died? Yes. Everybody was trying to hear whether she said anything. Yeah. Did she say anything? No. They said she said something. Yes. Eh? She, she, she said what? She's talking about her children. People were speculating that she said something. Everybody, you know, is it? What would the person say? Last thing. This, this man in, uh, in Zimbabwe, Mugabe, his wife died. She was a Ghanaian. She died. And I remember reading in the newspaper the last thing that I think he said to her or she said to him. Would you like to hear? How many would you like to hear what? I won't tell you. <laughs> I think he said something. I remember that I love you or something. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Is that? Is that yeah. something like that? Yeah. yeah. All right. The la You know, everybody can dance, laugh, talk. If you are going to die, the last things you begin to say are very different from all the things you normally say. Yeah. You imagine, I want you to imagine now. I remember there was a plane which crashed. I don't know where it was going, but it was a big plane. I think it was a 747. And what happened was that the pilot knew that they were going to 